So if you've never worked with Dapper before, one of the major differences between Dapper and Entity Framework Core, at least from a usability perspective, is that it's a lot more like using SQL directly. For many people that are using Entity Framework Core, I think one of the primary reasons that people love to use it is that you don't really have to think about SQL. Entity Framework Core is super powerful, and if you really need to dive into raw queries or actually working with SQL, it has all of the tools and capabilities to do that. So when I'm explaining this stuff to you, and I've mentioned that I like Dapper, personally better. I'm not saying that Dapper is the better tool overall. I'm not saying that Entity Framework Core is bad. I get a lot of flack for this online, but it's just a personal preference. And the personal preference comes from the fact that I do like having SQL queries. Some people hate it. For me personally, I like having them in front of me. I like being able to tune them and tailor them directly. And yes, I know you can do this with Entity Framework Core now, but Dapper just happens to be the thing that I go with. And I figured one of the reasons that making this series would be a lot of fun is that you can compare and contrast the two. And I'm not trying to tell you to pick Dapper over Entity Framework Core. I just want to show you what the two implementations look like, and then you have some more information to go with. 